Fenders are a big way you can change the look and function of your build and this MP Concepts JL style front fender flare with the sequential turn signal will be a great way to do it for your 2007 to 2018 JK Wrangler. Now these will be a great middle ground if you're looking for an OE style fender but you want a more updated and elevated appearance to replace your faded or damaged factory flares. These are also just great if you're a fan of the JL styling and you're looking for a set of flares that will bring that more modernized appeal to the table, especially with the addition of the LED lighting. Now the width on these will roughly be about 10 inches wide on this front portion over the tire, uh, but it does taper on back just like the factory flare, so you're gonna get seven inches roughly of width down here at the bottom. Now that's gonna offer really good coverage to the tire while also trapping any kick up from getting to the side body in comparison to some more narrow options. Now what's most notable about this set is the fact that this kit is going to come with the turn signal and the marker light on the front of the flare with the smoked lens for both the turn signal and the marker light over here for more of that stealthy appearance. On the inside, these are gonna have bright white and amber LEDs that'll make you a lot more noticeable when driving around on the road. And of course, that sequential turn signal for some of that added style, but it's also gonna help out with noticeability uh, for that safety aspect as well. Now the fenders themselves will be made of an OEM grade polypropylene material which will be light so you're not going to weigh your JK down compared to a steel flare and they're also going to be durable enough to handle any lighter impacts on or off road. The material will come in a matte black finish very similar to the OE appearance it doesn't really have that texture to it but this is also going to match very well with other OE plastics even though it doesn't have that light texture and they're also paintable so if you want to switch up the look and match it to uh, your Jeep's color code, uh, especially for that more Sahara painted fender look, you can definitely do so. Now the lights are durable as well with a plastic housing and a uh, polycarbonate lens on the front, which is also going to be impact resistant. And they're also going to have high intensity LEDs on the inside while being sealed with a weather sealed construction to eliminate any dirt or water getting in. Now this kit will require a little bit of wiring, but it is going to come with a plug and play wiring harness for the marker light to the actual light itself um, and all the clips and hardware needed for a straightforward install. Now these will come in at roughly $725, which I think for OE quality is definitely worth the price point. Now compared to others on the page, this will have a little bit more to the package compared to again, some more narrow or thinner options when it comes to plastic flares that take more of that simplistic approach. Now speaking of taking that more elevated approach, these are also gonna come with the full lighting setup, which you don't see very often, especially when it comes to the JK. And it's gonna have factory style harnesses, so it takes a lot of question out of the install, especially adding lights onto your fender, making it a super easy way to change up the look and the feel of your Wrangler. Now install is going to be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter and taking you about two hours to get the job done with some pretty basic hand tools. Now at this point we can head over to the shop and show you a detailed breakdown of how to get these onto your JK at home and how to wire up these turn signals. So it's going to wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and get into it. For this install you will need a ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, wire strippers and crimpers, Phillips head screwdriver, and not included with your kit, but for the way we installed our wiring, is male and female spade connectors and or T-taps. What's up guys, today we're gonna to be doing some fender flares on our Jeep, so let's get started. So we're gonna start things off by removing our factory flare, and to do that, we're gonna go ahead first and unplug our marker light. So it's kind of hard to see here, but you're gonna come in directly below your marker light on the inside of your flare here, and reach up in behind it, and you will feel the connector and there's just a little push tab. You go ahead and press that down and unplug your connector. So next we can go ahead and begin removing the hardware holding our flare in place. And we have our main bracket here with a 10 mil bolt holding that on. And then we have a couple more 10 mils along the back side of our fender liner, which we're gonna take the flare and fender liner out all in one piece, it makes it much easier. So we'll grab our 10 mil socket on our ratchet. Go ahead and start taking these off.
So now that we have all of our hardware off, the next step is going to be to give some firm tugs on our flare to get it to pop out because it does have these plastic retainers along the inner part between the fender and the flare itself. So we'll just go ahead and pop that off. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you will break some of these plastic tabs. Happens every time you take one of these off, your kit does come with new ones. Or if you want some extras, they are available online, you know, online retailers for a couple bucks for about a hundred of them, so. And as you can see, once you get it out here, you want to make sure to tuck your connector for your marker light back through your fender liner so you don't rip that off. We'll go ahead and set this aside. Now once you've got this side off, you can go ahead and repeat these same steps for the other side. So there's a few things we're going to need to do to prep our new flares before going on to the Jeep itself. And one of those is going to be our wiring. Now your kit does come with these inline style T-tabs to go onto your harness. However, our vehicle already has spade connectors on it due to previous installs and modifications. So we're going to go with our spade style connectors to keep with that same trend. And honestly, these make it a little bit easier if you want to take things off and on. Simply unplug them, it doesn't mess with your connection or damage any wiring if you have these on. So we're going to add these male spade connectors to the ends of our wires so we can plug them into our vehicle. So these wires do come pre-stripped, so all we have to do is make sure we don't have any strays and our wiring is coming out good and straight. Once we have that nice and straight, we'll go ahead, grab our spade connector, just gonna get our wire inserted into that. And we'll go ahead and grab our wire, wire crimpers and we'll get that cr crimped down really good. Once you have it crimped, you want to go ahead and give it a little tug just to make sure you have a secure connection. Then we're going to do the same thing for the remaining four wires on our light. And these spade connectors are readily available at your local hardware store or automotive parts store for a few bucks for a pack. And they're nice to have to keep around anyway. So now we can begin installing everything on our flare and we've got our flare up on the table flipped upside down. If you notice we've got some of our packing material on the table just to prevent any scratching of our flare. You don't want that to get messed up before you even put it on. So it's nice to have something to put down whether it be the packing or a towel or cardboard. Anything to just stop that surface scratch. So we'll go ahead and come over here to the front of our flare. And we're going to add our little screw clips here into our four slots for our turn signal bulb. So if you notice, you can pull this flap up and we have our other two mounting points. So we'll grab our smaller screw clips. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those right on all four of these holes. Now we can go ahead and install our turn signal itself into the flare. We have these two locators here for what is actually the bottom of the light. So we'll line those up next to our screw clips. We'll go ahead and set this in place. Like so we're going to grab our Phillips head screwdriver and four of our smaller Phillips head screws. And we'll go ahead 
get this light secured. Next is going to be our marker light. So we're going to go ahead and send our plug through to the back side. Then we're going to line up our mounting hole with the side of our turn signal light. Make sure that seats in properly. Okay. So now we can go ahead and secure that marker light with one of our larger Phillips head screws. That'll go right into the mounting point there. Grab our Phillips head screwdriver. Go ahead and screw that right in. And once that's tight, we can go ahead and plug our marker light into the connector on our turn signal. Now we can go ahead and install our support bracket. So we're going to come underneath the plug here. We'll get our three mounting holes lined up, which are on the back of our turn signal, just like so. And we're going to go ahead and attach those with three more large Phillips head screws. Grab our screwdriver yet again. We're going to start in the middle here. Go ahead and tighten this one down. Grab our next one. And our third. So now we can go ahead and install our eight fender clips located around the inner edge of our flare. These are just like the factory ones. We're gonna add these fender clip pads to each of them just like so. And then what you're gonna do, simply come in here, line up the middle, pop those in place. You can do that for all eight of them. Now these three here are a little bit tighter due to the inner molding here, but you still should be able to sneak those right in there. So now we can go ahead and secure our access flap. So what we're gonna do is fold that back and on our support bracket here, we're gonna add three of our threaded clips. Pop those on. One on the center here on your light. Get lined up and our third one here. Go ahead and lay our flap back down. Then we're gonna grab three of our M6 Phillips head screws. Go ahead, get those on. So we'll start with our center one here. Next, we'll go ahead and add our push pin screw here. We'll go ahead and add our insert. And we'll go ahead and add our screw in center. So now we're about ready to get our flare installed, but what we wanna do is grab our marker light harness and make sure that's accessible. It's kinda of gonna hang down, but we can just kinda of reach for it here and as well as we're gonna unplug our turn signal from the connector here. So you can just reach right back and push in the tab for the connector, pop that out, 
And again, we have our spade connectors already on, uh, but we will show you which wires go where. It's the same principle whether you're using the provided taps or the spade connectors that we did for ours. So now we're gonna go ahead and get our lights wired up. Now our green wire on our flare side is gonna go to the white and pink wire on your turn signal side. Ours has a yellow extender on it, but the white and pink is where it goes. So we'll go ahead and plug that one in. Make sure that's nice and secure. Then our brown wire is gonna go to the, what should be a white and brown wire. Ours has been fixed, uh, but that would go to white and brown for the brown wire. So we'll go ahead and plug that one in. And then our black wire is gonna go to the black wire. Pretty straightforward for that one. You wanna make sure all these connections are nice and secure. Then we can come over here to our marker light harness and our yellow wire is going to go to the white and green. Now these have T-taps on them, kind of similar to the ones that are provided, but they just tap in and these spade connectors go in and our white wire is going to go to our black wire. So we'll go ahead and plug our turn signal put right back in, push our Red safety tab back in. Make sure that's nice and secure. And we can go ahead and get our flare on. And we'll go ahead and line our main bracket up with the opening for the bracket mount on our flare. Go ahead and make sure we're not pinching any wires. And get all of our tabs lined up. Go ahead and push those in. Now you may need to manipulate the back half of your flare just a little bit to get it to go into place. So your factory bolt should be long enough to go through your mounting point into your flare. Ours is not factory due to previous installs and modifications, so ours actually doesn't reach, but your factory 10 millimeter bolt should go right back up through there. And then once you have that one in, you can go ahead and install your other mounting hardware that you pulled off from your factory flare. Go ahead and get these two in. So then we'll go ahead and grab our 10 mil socket on our ratchet and tighten down our hardware. And you can do that same thing for all of your hardware. Now from the factory you should have a few more bolt mounts that we have. Again, ours has been heavily modified in previous installs. We have bolts that are no longer with us. So once you get all your hardware tightened up, we can go ahead and tuck away our excess harness here. So now once you have everything installed, we can go ahead and tuck our excess wiring out of the way. Now you can feel free to tuck or zip tie this up out of the way however you want for install purposes. And demonstration purposes, we're going to go ahead and tuck ours right behind our headlight. It's a nice open spot, keeps everything out of the way. So now once you've got everything wrapped up for this side, you can go ahead and repeat the same process for the other side. Alrighty guys, that about wraps up our review and install of our MP Concepts JL style fender flares with sequential turn signals for your 0718 Jeep Wrangler JK. Thanks for watching, and as always, for everything Wrangler, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.